if she had a duck that wasn't laying eggs, she would do this weird trick and they would lay some eggs. <laughs> It is a cold one this morning. Like, I mean a brutally cold one this morning. But there's no time like the present to start an experiment. We've had our khaki Campbell ducks now for about six months, and we still haven't received a single egg for them. And I gotta admit, as somebody who's trying to start a business, an actual farming business, that's a little bit of a frustrating experience to be keeping animals this long without having them produce anything. Well, I did make a little bit of money selling off some of the uh, male ducks that we culled back in October. Um, it's still not enough to put us in the black. So my friend Lindsay, who is a keeper of many ducks herself, uh, I was talking to her the other day, bemoaning my issue of, oh gosh, my ducks haven't started laying eggs. Now, Lindsay said that she had a trick that always worked, and even in the dead of winter up here, if she had a duck that wasn't laying eggs, she would do this weird trick and they would lay some eggs. Her secret was this. She said if you feed your ducks kitten chow for about a week or so, they are gonna start laying eggs. Kitten chow? Like cat food? Now I'm not necessarily buying into this cockamamie scheme, but in this video, I'm gonna try it out and see if it works for me. One part their traditional food, with two parts cat food. Release the quacken! today. Alright guys, I'm going to feed you inside the uh, duck house this morning. Yeah, they're going at it. I gotta admit, it does look like they're sort of eating around the cat food a little bit. Like they're not totally chowing it down. Like they went for their regular feed that was interspersed and they're really searching. You can't expect to have ducks laying eggs if you don't have a nesting box, but I actually have been using these crates as nesting boxes. When Jemima Puddle Duck was laying eggs, she would actually lay in here, so I feel like they should be the right size and they should work. Um, I even have some ceramic dummy eggs in here. Uh, so you can see those right here. So, funny story. Some friends of mine who I used to work with as a going away present when I was leaving my job in DC to move up here, they all gave me a, a bunch of uh, ceramic eggs and they happened to put their pictures on them. Um, unfortunately, the eggs are just getting caked in duck poop and so uh, sorry about the coverage there, David. But it was a really sweet gift of them. 
Now there are some people out there who are going to be saying you shouldn't be giving ducks cat food. Uh, that's food for cats, not for ducks. And, you know, conceptually I'm not too worried about it. Because when you think about what's in the cat food, it's basically just ground up meat and grains. So, because when you think about ducks, they are omnivores. They eat a ton of insects. So throwing a little bit of extra meat in their diet shouldn't be too bad for them. The cat food I got, I made sure that there was no duck byproduct in it, so I actually looked that one up um, because I didn't want to make my ducks cannibals. But beyond that, again, it's, it's a one week span, so it's not like it's going to be their constant diet. The idea behind it all, if you, if you start to unpack it, there might be some logic to Lindsay's crazy thinking. So the, the science behind this, in theory, is that the ducks will respond to the increase in protein in their diet, and that might get them to start laying. Um, but that might just be junk science. You're going to have to watch the end of this video to find out if it actually works. These work gloves have just seen way too much work. They've been eating the food. They haven't eaten as much as I might have expected them to eat. But they're eating a fair amount of it. Let's see how they do. I guess this is probably going to blow up my uh, certified organic registration, but eh, oh well. I feel like for people who might be buying our eggs, I'm just trying to be very transparent. And so if you can see the manner in which our ducks are raised and what they're fed, you might find some comfort in it. Uh, so I hope that's the case. probably end up changing this duck water three times today. So they have consistent access to fresh, unfrozen water. And now it's time to feed the cats duck food. I'm just kidding, it's cat food, it's cat food, I'm kidding. Easy, you savage beasts. So we recently hooked the cats up with some creature comfort. Uh, this is like a heated cat bed. Um, they really like it. At first they were really scared of it, but recently it's like pretty much where you can find them at all times when it's this cold. Another heroic scoop of cat food for the ducks. Here's a brief guide to understanding how cold the weather here is at Goldshaw Farm based on what I'm wearing on my head. This is a perfectly appropriate way to dress today. So it is a freezing cold day, and you guys are not going to believe this. <laughs> like, I can't believe it, man. You can see it, right? I have icicles forming on my eyelashes. It is 11 degrees out right now, and I just went into the duck house, 
and I found an egg, and I found an egg, and I found an egg, my first egg from the Khaki Campbells. This egg is much smaller than the, the eggs that came from the Peckin Duck, uh, Jemima Puddle Duck. I can't believe this, man. I mean, it's frozen solid, so unfortunately I got that going on. But uh, wow, I can't believe it. There's an actual honest to goodness egg that was laid by our ducks, finally. I, I am absolutely stunned. Now, whichever one of you gals laid this egg, kudos to you. Wow. Huh. I'm actually keeping them inside today because it's so dang cold. Um, there's just no point in setting them up outside. They wouldn't be very happy. I mean, it's ugly as all heck. It's a little bit poop stained. It's probably frozen. But it's an egg from our farm. This uh, egg board that I actually carved, I carved it when I was still living in Washington, D.C. And Allison had just moved up here, and I was living in D.C., dreaming about life on the farm here. And so I carved this thing by hand because I dreamed of one day being able to put my own eggs, poop, right inside of it. And now I can, and to me that's pretty remarkable. This just feels like quite the milestone for our farm. And it's all courtesy of cat food. Just goes to show you. I think I want to go flash back to the summer when the ducklings first arrived on the farm. So you can watch that in the video right here, or you can watch something else. Um, you can also subscribe over here. And uh, I think I'm going to go make this egg and then watch that video. So I'll see you guys over in that next video.